Is that the... Uh, that looks alright, doesn't it? They all look alright. <laughs> looks good. Get them pugs out of there, boy. No pugs? No, where? No. Just out of my shot over there. That's kind of Jake's shot. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? This is of my shot. That's, that's kind of you. Fortunately for me, I'm in all of them. All right, on today's podcast, we're going to be talking about how to get out of a slump. You don't seem particularly enthused. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you put your harness on to go track a deer, but that's usually your MO. Yeah, it's barely November 2nd. Let's go get him. <laughs> and I feel like the conversation started for me with one example and story do you want me to just tell it yeah you go for it buddy all right so jake and i had been hunting for a lot of days this past season i don't actually know how much we talked about it and in general i don't really remember but you know we talk about it a lot amongst ourselves as we were here in iowa for 14 days like on day two we had multiple stalks uh-huh. and we were on deer real early big but you know big bucks and it was like, oh, dude, we're going to for sure get one. Yeah. And then we'll go back to South Dakota. And, uh-huh. like, we had all these big plans. And then next thing you know, we're there on day 13. And, you know, we were, we were just struggling. And the part that made things really feel like we had hit a slump was on that last day. We had the multiple bucks close. The first one that morning, the duck hunter went past. Uh-huh. We just felt like we had a really good play on that buck. And duck hunter just happened to go past, which m- messed up that situation. It wasn't the end of the world, but, like, at that point, you know, when you're kind of already struggling yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you've been out there after a while, and then all of a sudden you you have a chance or a pretty close call, and it's just like, we might not even get a chance, you know? <laughs> and then we move up a little bit, and we have another close call with a buck, and without going into a whole bunch of detail on that specifically, you can see in the footage what happens, and we talked about it afterwards, but we didn't end up getting that buck either. Just and comes barreling down the hill at us chasing a doe and i tried snort wheezing to stop him and he just like jumped out of his shoes because he saw us sitting right there in front of him I and, mean, and there's i mean there's a whole bunch of details in that that we probably could have done different but the point of even talking about that is that's that's like the slump we're days and days in and uh-huh. honestly up to that point had you shot a buck yet in nope, anywhere just the bull i think a lot of times it's not even just a slump of days it's potentially years you know mm-hmm. i feel like we get into slumps more so than other people because we're out there every single day Mm -hmm. and we're hunting we're hunting or we're scouting like all day every day during the season so those slumps can be more intense almost Mm -hmm. than other people's because it's just like it's a mental hump that you're trying to get over yeah you might be out there trying to hunt where the weather's just like 70 degrees for 10 days where if if we weren't trying to get content maybe i'd just you know i'd probably just be working or spending time with the family or something you know Mm -hmm. during that time period but we're just out there trying to at least figure something out that was a day where you know i'd say nine times out of ten you get two opportunities close like that where we feel like all right mentally i'm just not even all the way there anymore it's just like you've been doing it for so long you just need a break yeah we're tired getting up early doing the same thing you just need to take a little break you'll hit the reset button it's funny because i would say most days where you have that sort of action or it's that good it's like well we can't leave the woods and i remember it's like nine in the morning and you're just like dude I think we should just go back and just do something else. And it was like, yeah, you're probably right. I just have a pretty funny memory of like, man, like I haven't seen Jake like this before because we went home and I could tell Jake was irritated that, you know, not too bad and out of shape, but just quieter than normal. We went home and we like were working and editing on some videos from the days prior. It was funny because like at one point, we're sitting there and you know you you can't just necessarily edit for you know infinite hours straight so you do these little breaks and every time we do a little break jake's like stealth stripping something took his bow outside and spray painted it you know i've i've been listening to my bino straps clang off the the buckle on that monster pack that i'm wearing for two weeks now and uh-huh. like just haven't found you know i'm so tired when we get home they're like i'm not gonna do it then but you know just, took, just took a day to do it. all that stuff to do mm-hmm. that the yeah. stuff like while well, i'm out there and just like god i wish i wasn't making that sound you know so we <laughs> fixed uh, pretty much all that stuff so it's like we're here for two weeks at this point and like i mean i know that you want to go hunting and i want you to be able to go hunting so mm-hmm. that's what was really frustrating about it is like had we, had i just you know done something differently somewhere Kill, killed one of the two <laughs> bucks or whatever bucks that we had close calls on it's like you get to go hunting and like 
I think we all start to feel a little bit bad at some well, point. Well, just and just switch it up in general. Yeah. I mean, like we said, it's just you know you always have you always look back on the hunts whether it's here or on the road somewhere, and it's like you have all the good memories, and it's like okay, like at this point, like we're we're well ready for it. And you know, I don't ever think that you know it was one of those deals. It was like I was feeling just the same where. Not even that I want to go hunting, honestly, at that point. It's just like, we just got to get this done. And it was just funny to go and see Jake in that way because, honestly, I don't see him as like, uh-huh. that one bothered you. Yeah. Like, that one bothered you more <laughs> than anything I've ever seen. Uh-huh. And he went back and just switched all this stuff up. And, you know, we get some rest. And I think we took two solid days off, like the tent or the – well, the whole rest of the ninth, I think, is when that happened. And the tenth, we took all that off from hunting. Like we uh-huh. just stayed home. So we end up going out on the eleventh, a couple of days later, midday. Everything's changed. Jake's got stealth stripped from his <laughs> toes to his top of his hat. <laughs> He's got a different hat on. He's got different clothes on. Completely different undies. Different. <laughs> I mean, everything's like, you know, it's like, a reset. Yeah, yeah we full reset. reset. And, yeah, and we've we now we're we're mentally sharper because we've got the sleep and i think that that is pretty much the entire reason we ended up having the hunt that we did went in and did everything right then yeah and i think that that is just such a hilarious example now at the moment it was kind of like oh shoot boy that was that was that that one hurt but you keep a positive mental attitude and then you restart with sleep you get your gear cleaned up you get everything just you feel fresh, and you go out there, and then you're sharper for it. And You're talking about all this time where you're getting these close calls and whatever, and you're not getting something. Then you hit a reset, quote-unquote. How did your strategy change from before that to after that? I think just making – like the a decision that we made that I don't know if we would have if we had just been like – had not taken that break, the, the thing that made that hunt to me where we killed the buck is like you stayed back like we got to a point where it's just like we had to split up and i don't know that we would have done that the day before and it's hard to say but it's just like that that decision right there where i went to the next cover had you have we both been there i think you would have picked us off like i went 20 yards up in front of you 15 yards up in mm-hmm. front of you and you're sitting back there by the next big tree and just like the, to make that decision i think is what you're saying at least that's how I'm interpreting yeah, it. Yeah, I, I feel like, like there's potentially would have just been like caught. Let's, both, let's just yeah. let's both go up there and we're both moving around and then boom, yeah. he blows. Versus right. like, like now that we're sharp, we're, we said something like, "You stay back here so you can listen and watch while I'm, you know, trying to sneak." Because it seemed like he came over the ridge and hurt us that first time, then went back towards where the, he had that doe. So he went over the ridge and it's just like if he hears us again, he's gonna come over and like he was kind of just sitting back waiting for that and like that's what happened. It's like he came back up grunt looking for us and like. Luckily, we were, weren't caught out in the open like it was right when I got to the cover and yeah. Zach was standing by cover already. The way I feel, or and that how was I feel it, about the, that. literally the the day before that that we hunted, we got caught like when that doe came down the hill, we got caught Ooh. in the middle of nowhere with no cover. You know, the best way I can explain it is mental clarity. Yeah. You know, like I don't know that there was necessarily any strategy different. Mm-hmm. It was just mental clarity, and I know that I feel like I struggle with this as bad as anybody out there. You also. I think a lot of us out there hunters have this like, I'm never going to quit attitude. And I think that's badass, man. I love that. I love never quit attitude. But just because you take two days off doesn't mean you're quitting. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's really hard. Sometimes sleeping in doesn't mean you're quitting. It just means that you're being, you're doing some self care out Uh there too, which, you know, if you're on a trip or whatever, I mean, it can be exhausting yeah. if you're out or or at home, whatever, or on vacation or whatever it is. It's like, to me, the mental clarity is hard to regulate because you just are like, I'm going to go, 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 go. I don't want, and, and then you get a little FOMO too, fear of missing out. You know, where you're like, oh, if we sleep in, what are we going to miss? Mm-hmm. Well, but how good is your decision making ability when you've been two weeks on the field you know waking up every morning like. i mean literally the biggest buck that me and ted have ever seen in our entire lives it was after a reset it's just like we've been getting up early getting up early getting up early and i don't know how many days in a row it was but it was like you know 
kind of mid to late October and we're hunting mornings every morning. It's like, it's like <laughs> let's just sleep in and drive around and like eight o'clock in the morning. We just all of a sudden, you know, we, we pull into a parking lot and the biggest buck we've ever seen in our lives is just walking directly towards us. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how to explain that, but <laughs> just doing something different than what you have been doing too could, could be de- defined as a reset. Mm-hmm. Just like if what you're doing isn't working and like i'm like i said earlier it's like it might not be a couple day period it might be a couple year period if if you're not having success year in and year out it's like you might want to think about changing up and trying a new strategy mm-hmm. even if even if the strategy you're doing has worked in the past it's like you might you, you just got to try to adapt try to adapt that's a great <laughs> plug <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why hey, that's why we ended up on that name. Yeah, that's right. We said, hey, that fits. So I think another reset example and like a smaller scale or a shorter time period is I think about all the time in North Dakota the second year when we ended up killing the buck with the guys on the cliff. We had been hunting somewhat committed to us. What do you got over there? <laughs> this is what I think of when you're in a slump. <laughs> That is exactly. It's another morning. Another morning with the chance of saying, oh, Jacob, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a video. Tell them, tell them where that video is uh, from. Zach, or when. <laughs> so that, that's, it says it's November 2nd. November 2nd at 5.03 in the morning. <laughs> so that's still nine days before yeah. we kill yeah. <laughs> So we'd been at it for a little bit there already. <laughs> but... <laughs> I guess what? So that's on. <laughs> so you can find that video on our TikTok, on TikTok, I believe. So that's just a Snapchat I made when I woke up in the morning. Cause like, I mean, honestly, I always every time I wake up and I'm like, I'm like, oh, finally we get to go again. Cause as soon as it gets dark, I'm like ready to go again. You know, it's like, <laughs> and uh, woke up and I was just feeling excited on November second. I guess uh-huh. I made that Snapchat and <laughs> sent it to everybody. Then it became comes to TikTok, but. The example that I was using was we were in North Dakota and we were fairly committed to hunting an area that we had seen a pretty nice buck in. You remember our original, like, where I ran up the hill and said, let's hunt, and our yeah. original glassing knob? Uh-huh. Let's hunt! You know, we had spent an afternoon, evening, and then a morning in there at least you know at least that much time and it's like you kind of look at that and you're like you know what i don't know that this is gonna work you know like there's this isn't the exact spot that we're gonna be able to spot one bed down and be able to make a move on them should we keep looking and we pulled out and i remember that being kind of hard but we couldn't have made a better decision and once we did finally drive you know another hour somewhere else and went to a different spot as soon as we went in there and started seeing deer it was like, okay, we made the right decision. Yeah. You remember we're like sitting up there eating eating at lunch or whatever and we're watching bucks move around midday and we're like, oh, okay, like uh-huh. now we did something. And something changed, like pull out, go to a different spot. I've had that happen and be money. You know, uh-huh. you go try a different strategy or whatever. And I think on the exact opposite side of a slump, it's like if, if – I'm I'm just thinking of like years where we, you talk about the Scarlet Oaks in Ohio that one mm-hmm. year, and that that's not going to be something that happens every year, like where they're on something real specific. But and I think of like us that year where we hunted just like targeted pin oaks five, six, seven days in a row. It's just like we're running into bucks, and it's just like if you are finding them on one specific thing, just keep looking, keep going back to that spot until they don't they aren't there. And, and when they're not there anymore, look for a spot that's very similar to that. You know, if they realize they're on a certain food source or something that might not always be quite as hot, just, like, keep riding that as long as mm-hmm. you can. Mm-hmm. Can you think of any examples where you were in a slump and you made a major change and it played out for you? I mean, I kind of had the same thing when I started hunting Iowa this year in the rut where it was like me and Roy were hunting every single day and we were getting super close calls. And even up till, I think I, we hunted, I think we probably hunted like nine or 10 days in a row. And then I missed that buck oh, at like yeah. five yards. So that one was really, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was my chance right there. <laughs> I don't even, I don't think I took a break or anything. I think I just went home and maybe took the next morning to reset a little bit. Uh-huh. Just like shot my bow probably and 
Yeah. I well, think what I, were we doing? What What did we do the day before you we went into this spot where you eventually killed the buck? I can't remember what we were doing previous to that. I don't know. We were at the house. I know yeah. That. We were, like I remember it being pretty relaxed, and we kind of went out into a spot that spot in the evening, and just yeah. our pretty er, like middle of the day type thing. But I don't think we were doing anything that morning where we just kind of took it off, and we're just. I remember being pretty relaxed and excited to be going in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember exactly, but there was like a little gap there where it was like, all right, I'm gonna take a breather here and shoot my bow get my confidence back basically <laughs> make sure i'm gonna hit the next one and <laughs> then yeah i think i don't remember much of hunting after that until you and i went into that river uh-huh. bottom spot and got into all i think you're just shooting your bow all morning that morning yeah I just like like you said was. getting your confidence back and up we went in there and got back on bucks and then the next morning is when i killed the one yeah and that was just one of those deals where it's just like when you texted it i couldn't have been less surprised that you shot yeah. one I mean, <laughs> it's just like saw, one of them deals we saw like three bucks the first night the night we were sitting there i'm just like you're, i'm like if we don't kill one tonight you're like you're probably gonna kill one in the morning i'd yeah. say you're gonna get a chance uh-huh so i went in there the next morning and i shot the one at like 8 30 probably uh-huh. maybe even earlier than that yeah but that's what's fun about hunting a rut like that is you can you just bounce 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 until you find the uh-huh. hot spot yeah but, but that was but, I, but also you took that break and I, I you if i remember it did you sleep there that night or did you just get there early as hell when i did, got there early as hell because i, you I know, slept you said there I'm, the next i slept there the night that i okay. hit the deer because i didn't want anybody going in there because i hit him back uh-huh so i slept in my car in to the make sure nobody walked to make no sure nobody went in there mm-hmm. i mean you weren't gonna just like you know Hey, hey, don't go in there, but you were going to tell, just at least tell at least them what pitch, pitch went your on. story, right? right I think, I think the biggest thing it, when, when things are, when things are going not the way you're hoping, it's easy to spiral out of control and just like continue to stress yourself out and overthink things. And like, honestly, there's nothing better than sleep. Yeah. And mm-hmm. again, it, it's that you, you battle with your no quit also uh-huh. where you're like, man, I just got to go or mm-hmm. man, what happens? But and you think about the grand scheme of like even if you can hunt the entire month, let's say you could hunt every every thirty days in November. Got a lot of buddies that take the full month of November off. Yeah, it's like even if you can do that, what are you really missing in one morning, especially if your decision making and your sharpness comes back? You know, at the beginning of the season, I think one of the reasons that we have so much success is we're fresh, our legs are fresh, or we're f- you know you're still flexible, you're not all stiffened up, but then by November fourteenth. It's like, you know, you haven't been eating good. You haven't been sleeping nearly enough now for months. You're, you know, you're just tired in general because you're worn down and you've been, you know, and then the yeah. same old thing. But then all of a sudden you sleep in <laughs> and you shoot your bow a little bit in the morning. And then it's, I mean, even, even if you're going out at 11 o'clock, you still got, what, six hours of daylight or more to hunt. It's just like that. It's like the first day of season again. So another example of a time that I felt like I got myself out of a mental slump was just last year and you know like we've hit home a lot in the past recently is that last year it was tough tougher for us for sure but I had had a, you know a long time with Jake where we were struggling and then I turned around and I went to Ohio and I hunted there for you know a week or so about seven days I think with Roy and on day two we were about that close to killing one and then didn't hardly see a deer literally didn't hardly i mean i mean mm-hmm. i think we saw a doe on a farm and that was about it now we heard deer but mm-hmm. that doesn't count for a visual <laughs> and uh i went home for thanksgiving and then i went back and hunt, hunted with a gun and i hunted three days there with a gun and all of a sudden i'm i went home that night and i'm driving back and i'm like i'm miserable like i am stressing myself out to the point because it's the same thing like you want to talk about feeling like you're letting everybody down i'm like I haven't even seen it. Like, how do you make a video? Now, I know some people would comment and say, like, we don't care, but, like, we care. Like, <laughs> if you make a video with not seeing any deer multiple days, like, it's not that entertaining. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I hate to say it. It just right. isn't. So yeah. it's like there's a certain point where it's like I got to do something different. And I remember, like, driving home on – it was Wednesday of gun season, so there had been three full days of hunting. Like, I'm not getting anything. I'm letting everybody down. I got to do something different. And I just, that next morning, I packed up all my stuff and I went to New York. Mm -hmm. And I went tracking for three days. Now, the visuals didn't get much better. But just getting my boots on the ground in a new area, start to learn something new, that was a, a very hard reset where, you know, I've hunted Ohio my whole life. 
you know, I've hunted something new to be excited about. Yeah. And, you know, I knew that there was a good chance that we weren't even going to see a deer, but I knew there was going to be something that we would learn. And I knew that I was going to be able to create a video to show you guys that yeah, was going to be that's better. valuable that people, anybody can learn and from. And that was a great example of a reset. Now, you might not be able to necessarily pull out of the state, but but you might be able to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to move from this property to this property. Or, you know what, I've been hunting this part of the state this weekend. I'm going to drive, you know, an extra hour and yeah. go to a different part of the Could state. Could be like, well, I've been hunting out a tree stand for every single day and I'm not really enjoying this anymore. So I'm going to try hunting on the ground or mm -hmm. something. Just yeah. Trying something different. Yeah. And all of a sudden you got different conditions. Maybe that gives you more confidence to try that different strategy. But if you go into it with more sleep and to focus on having more fun, I think that that is the best slump buster that you can have in hunting. Uh -huh. Hopefully that helped you guys in some way because, I mean, and you know what? Hopefully we'll listen to our own advice because <laughs> I guarantee there's going to be days where it's like day eight and we're dragging our way through the, <laughs> the frustration and then uh -huh. finally listen to, your, listen to your body and mind and take that break and it's going to be better. Yep. Uh -huh. Got anything else, Buck Hat? Got to hit that reset sometimes. Don't be too proud. That's right. Thanks for listening, guys. We will catch you on the next one.